My next guest kind of did things in reverse because they were known for some great desserts, but they have now opened a restaurant that is serving up some of the best new world fusion cuisine. Joining me now is Scott Donhauser, executive chef of Butterwood Sweet and Savory, located in Hotel Lafayette. Thank you so much for being here. How are we doing? I'm doing awesome. Tell me, explain this, what this is, this new world fusion cuisine. Well, what they wanted to do is they wanted to do fusion cuisine, and fusion is like mixing of different cuisines together to make it, put it together on one plate, if you will. So we have uh, Spanish, Asian, and Latin American cuisine that we kind of delve into and try to put it all together and you know have some fun ingredients when you talk about those regions of the world. Now for so many of us that have been going in to check out what has mm. now opened in Hotel Lafayette yeah. because it's kind of been a work in progress. Explain mm -hmm. where Butterwood Sweet and Savory is. Oh look at how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. Um, it's in the lower level of the Lafayette Hotel. Okay. If you come in the main entrance off Washington Street and walk the uh, main corridor all the way down, mm -hmm. you'll find our stairs at the very end of that. And uh, we are located in the lower level. We have a uh, artisan style pizza oven down there. We have the retail outlet in there and uh, full bar. We have about 145 wines available by the glass and nice. bottle. Oh, look at that, and there's the dessert cases that mm -hmm. everybody knows Butterwood is so famous for. Now, you're yep. open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Correct. Tell me about mm -hmm. your cuisines for each of the breakfast, lunches, and dinners. Uh, breakfast is kind of simple. It's basic. You know, you can get your uh, eggs and bacon, if you will. Uh, mm -hmm. You can also, we can upscale it by doing what we do, a couple different twists on some food. We have uh, cake and ice cream for breakfast, which is pancakes with uh, cream cheese ice cream. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we do a little, few different twists. We have a banana foster crepes, uh, things like that. We also have an oatmeal cake that we serve. Mm -hmm. So we try to take the sweet and savory aspects and try to make them come all together on, in all the cuisine that we do. I love too that you have a pizza oven because mm -hmm. that's great for lunch and dinner. Yeah. And one of the things I have to give you credit for is that you do keep it healthy in some ways because mm -hmm. you've got the whole wheat pizza crust Correct. that's available. Yeah. Not a lot of places do that. No, we're finding that out. Uh, we and we actually we go through quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And what's nice is working with Butterwood is they're doing our breads now as well. Mm, so they, they started to develop a new line of breads, artisan breads. They do our sourdoughs and our uh, marble rise for lunch. They also do our pizza doughs, the wheat dough that we talked about. You know, along with doing desserts, we're keeping them busy. Having been inside Hotel Lafayette for a wedding and the grand mm -hmm. opening and a lot of other yeah. events, you go in there and you're like, this is not <laughs> Buffalo. Like, yeah. you can't believe what's happening inside there. So for yeah. Butterwood to be there, too, mm -hmm. very exciting. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect mix because you have the other restaurants upstairs, which can offer, you know, different uh, style of cuisine. You mm -hmm. have the bar food right. with Pan Am. You have Mike A's Steakhouse, and then there's us. And we kind of, like I said, we go in different directions with the cuisine. We're offering, like, an Asian, Spanish Latin American twist, so it. Uh, yeah, it works out well. It does, and you do recommend mm -hmm. for lunch and dinner if you're going to go mm -hmm. make a reservation. Why not? I would at this okay. point. You know, we're kind of in our honeymoon period. We just opened. We're starting to get a little bit of a buzz going, Good. and people are kind of you know they're coming in, and lunch is pretty crazy already. The one thing I don't understand, mm -hmm. Chef, is why the desserts are so far away. <laughs> why are they all the way over they there? They told me to do that. Yeah, I, I'm sure that they did. They're yeah. saving it for themselves. That is the famous Butterwood caramel apple yep. pie in an individual size. Correct, and they also have the full size pie you could buy at the retail uh, outlet. Which became famous at the White House. I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice. So, yeah. And the other one? That's a chocolate peanut butter comet, which uh -huh. is on our dessert menu. I will be over there in about six seconds eating that. Excellent. It looks fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on the so opening. Much. Can't oh. wait to check it out at the it's hotel. It's been a lot there. of fun. It really yeah. has. I can only yeah. imagine. Mm -hmm. If you want to check it out, Butterwood Sweet and Savory, located inside Hotel Lafayette. And you should make a point to dine out someday or night. Enjoy great food. They've got it all to offer at 291 Washington Street in Buffalo. Give them a call at 652-0131. You can also check them out on the web at ButterwoodSweetAndSavory.com. You owe it to yourself to experience why Butterwood Sweet and Savory has your guilty delight in mind.